Hey everybody, Fancy Spancy Wino here again. I'm James, not Jimmy, and that's not me on the camera. We're lucky enough to be here today at Ruth's Chris in South Bend, Indiana with the managing uh, partner, Tim Reese. And as we prepared for Thanksgiving, thought, you know what? Um, there's so many options and so many choices. Maybe somebody from a nice restaurant, um, and I think, you know, maybe even a sommelier could walk us through what we should be picking for the Thanksgiving season. So, Tim, walk us through the holiday and, and what you're going to be drinking this year. Happy holidays. Gobble, gobble. Let's get started here. Now, everybody thinks about poultry, so they're thinking a little white wine. We have a bunch of directions to go today. We're going to start with a delicious Sonoma County Mary Edwards Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, this is a 2014. Mary Edwards is a smaller producer, but really great. You're going to find this uh, fairly Bordeaux-like in style, so it's going to have that nice pop and uh, lightness, but with a full body, and it's going to complement the, the breast of turkey very, very well, as well as the rest of the meal. However, let me just tell you, not everybody likes a dry white wine. And you know what goes great with turkey Thanksgiving? Riesling. That's right. This is from Chateau Saint-Michel called Eroica. This is a, uh, a joint venture with Chateau Saint-Michel Winery in Washington State and Dr. Lawson in Germany. Dr. Lawson is one of the premier makers of uh, fine Rieslings in Germany. So this is a collaboration. It's got a great, great, bright, fragrant, fruit-forward taste, not too sweet, not too dry, kind of almost Alsatian in style, and is really going to complement fairly easy on the budget as well. However, I think if you really want to explore some fun at Thanksgiving, my favorite at Thanksgiving is Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is a light red. I brought two Pinot Noirs for us to look at today. One is from Oregon, and Oregon right now, in my opinion, is making the finest Pinot Noirs in America. This one is from King Estate. This is the, uh, uh, it's called Backbone, and it is a wonderful, wonderful estate blended Pinot. You're going to find it light, very Burgundian in style, v pairs very well with food, all the way from the cranberry sauce to the stuffing to the potatoes and the vegetables and of course turkey and giblet gravy. However, some people find Oregon Pinots a little too light for their liking. And in that case, we're going to drink delicious Belle Gloss Pinot Noir. This is Las Alturas and that is from Monterey County. And you know what, sometimes the lights go on, sometimes the lights go off when I'm out here. It's just, I have this effect on people. However, you're going to find this rich jammy, full of flavor, and, and a big, you know, really, a, it's, it's a bigger Pinot and in the classic kind of California style, so bright cherries, bright raspberries, burst of fruit, and a little roundness to the palate, and it's, it's a big Pinot. Finally, you know, I don't want to go to cab because cabs are going to overpower the meal but a wonderfully balanced and delicious Merlot can do just the thing that you want. Now this is Franciscan Reserve Merlot. You know, it's funny, Franciscan, the, uh, the grapes are right next, to, right next door to Franciscan is uh, Silver Oak. And if you've heard of Silver Oak Cab, you know that they make some fine cabs. Some of that cab has a little, might have a little Merlot in it, and some of that Merlot might come from this same vineyard just down the street. And this is a wonderfully, wonderfully balanced, light, very round on the palate Merlot. And I think this is going to be just what you're looking for. So to recap, we've got Mary Edwards Sauvignon Blanc, Eroica Riesling from Chateau Saint-Michel, uh, King Estate Pinot Noir, Belle Gloss Las Alturas Pinot Noir, and Franciscan Reserve Merlot. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Now, I'm just curious. When, when you're on Thanksgiving, do you just pick just one wine, or do you, you know, no. you bring a few to the table? For I dinner? actually would drink all five of these wines Thanksgiving. Okay. And then I have, don't have to drive. The keys are already taken away from me, and I would taste a little bit of each. But really, I'd like to, uh, I would probably start I, I, in the order that I, that I just explained. I would start with a nice uh, Sauvignon Blanc with maybe some, uh, 
some appetizers if you're doing anything like that, vegetables and you know, crudite and things like that. When the meal starts, I'd probably get a little glass of Riesling, but right next to that, I'd have my glass for Pinot Noir. And I'd, I'd start out light and I'd move to the heaviest. I'd end my meal drinking the Merlot. Okay, well, I, I hope you guys found this interesting. I certainly did. Um, certainly hard to look at these five bottles and not have any of them open. Um, throughout the rest of the month, we'll bring some more ideas to you uh, and some fun pairings. Again, I'm James with Fancy Schmancy Wino. Cheers. Bye.